Hello, my name is Jeff Dudley, a 16-year veteran of the 100% insourced Interasys GTAC, specializing in security and network management software. Today we'll cover a basic tuning technique for the Dragon IPS IDS security software with the use of the Dragon filter module. The screen you see here first is a 24-hour reporting page that shows recent events as, been, as they've been logged by the EMS server. The event at the top, SSH colon version dash 2, may be an excellent example for this exercise as we can see the event count is rather high compared to the other events logged by the system. If we highlight the SSH version 2 event, the details here are shown below. You can see the event name, contains a relatively low score, it's within the apps group, the source IP, dest IP, and the virtual sensor that's actually triggering on the event. It appears that there are two, snowman and red, virtual sensors that are triggering these events. And also note that the source IP and dest IPs aren't changing. I understand these IPs as this is our part of our security software suite, the SIM solution. Here is the console and here is the collector, communicating over an SSH tunnel. Understanding these attributes down below make this an excellent candidate for the Dragon Filter module. Next, we use the EMS client software to make any adjustments and apply the filter. Here is our EMS console. Here is the console, the Dragon server, and the associated network sensors it manages. Here is one virtual sensor that triggered the event. And here's the other. Also note the policy associated with it here is test. They're using the same policy. Expanding this out, we want the Dragon filter module listed here, but it's not shown and not available to us at this time. We just need to, need to take a quick step back, add the module, and then we can apply the filter. We go over to the policy area, master policies, custom policies, in our test one. A simple right click, add remove, drag and filter, move it over. Now you see the drag and filter module is here and available to configure. With the filter module now in place, we click New to add in the event and associated attributes. We can either type the name in here or we can browse to find it, if whichever is more convenient. SSH colon version dash 2, and now the filter criteria. If we were to type in understanding those IPs, host 10.26.24.244 as one, no grayed out italics becomes bold as the filter is accepted. If we had made a mistake, say for instance we'll try this, host 10.26.24.244 26.24.233 as the other system, you'll see that it appears in red and calls for an invalid filter. We've made a syntax mistake. A highlight F2 gives some helpful options here. But what we've done up above is we've made a statement and we need to make it an OR statement. Now you see it's accepted and we can hit OK. Here you feel, see that the SSH version 2 host console or host collector and we can commit this. Once committed we can go over here to our console area we started. Closing these up you'll see the right caret and these now need to be deployed. A simple right click deploy the configuration to these two machines, using that results in applying that for Dragon Filter module with those settings. And there you have it. 